and welcome everybody on YouTube. Again, sorry about the stream today. Uh, I've been trying to, to fix it, just had some connection problems, but still get to record. So we're uh, just recording today, going straight to YouTube. Um, this deck here, Basilisk Aggro, gonna be our last deck for the rank up day. We've had a pretty successful rank up day so far, especially Twisted Sejuani getting that 5-0. But both Fiora Vi and Brahmanivia looked real good with the three twos. They both looked good. And, and now we're playing, um, you know, another deck that's getting pretty popular. Basically, Basilisk Rider just got um, buffed with the latest patch to have an additional point of health. And now whenever it hits the Allegiance trigger, being a 6-4 Overwhelm, that is huge. There's so many 3 damage things, so many um, units with 3 power. Getting that 4th uh, health, that's really, really big. Like, that's um, really important. And so that's why Basilisk Rider has gotten a lot better. And so now playing just kind of almost all Noxus aggro works out really well. So I'm going Noxus with, uh, the way that I'm building this is going Noxus with just a, a slight... Freljord Splash because Omen Hawk. This card's awesome. It's just just the you know the one drop that you, that you want, and then Fury of the North, huge pump spell, especially when we have some overwhelmed things. Um, you, you know, it's just just a great pump spell. So I got Fury of the North in here also. So that's what we're going with. We're going with Draven and Darius for our champions. Um, Would have been nice to have. You know, even another two drop, you know, like an Elise. I see a lot of people play like Elise with this deck. But honestly, I just want Omen Hawk and Fury of the North more. And I don't think that Elise is that big of an upgrade over Draven uh, to play Shadow Isles instead. So we're going going uh, with Freljord for the splash. All right, so here we go. Let's play some Basilis Gagra. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. And we are one win away now from getting to a diamond, getting out of platinum and getting up to diamond. That was our goal at the beginning of the day. Um, we needed uh, eight more wins than we had losses. And so far we have five more or seven more wins than we have losses. We had the 5-0 and then we got one additional win, one additional win on the other two. So we're just one win away. And now it looks like we're playing a mirror match with the Elise version. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if this pays off. Um... These four mana cards are good, but I'm going to mulligan them. No one's the wiser. Would have liked to have an Omen Hawk. I have my orders. This will shake me. Moving into sight. The Demolitionist. I mean, Crimson Disciple would be our best possible draw, Rabbit. right? Crimson Disciple uh, could turn this game around. I mean, well, the game isn't really anywhere, but... No, not you having Crimson Disciple opponent. That's the best card. That's the card. Ah, that's the card right there. Should have mulligan demolitionist? Probably not. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. Does keep them from attacking with that. And we just take the six. Block. Throw our block here and here and put the, that thing to one health. At least. Death doesn't scare me. Maybe I should have kept the rider. You know, like this is, you know, just start with the game. Just start uh, playing uh, with this deck. Sorry. And so maybe at the beginning of the game, there I should have. Uh, maybe maybe rider is just a keep. I do like this Fury of the North. I do like this Fury of the North. This could be a sneaky kill. You know, like they don't block one of these two threes. We Fury of the North a two three. Okay. 
Well, we're, it looks like we're going that way. You that does six to them. Puts them down to three. So they can stay alive. No, they can't. I was thinking they had four blockers. They don't have four, four blockers. Never mind. Let's get a good look at you. Get ready, girl. That's three. And drawing that Crimson Disciple was perfect. And then, yeah, Fury of the North. Good card. Get ready, girl. All right, chalk, chalk one up for Freljord. Over Shadow Isles. I don't think, like, I don't think they play anything else besides Elise that's Shadow Isles. I don't, at least I'm not aware of anything else. I think it's just that. I, yeah, I mean, just give me Omen Hawk Fury of the North. Man, those cards are good. Okay. GG's. Very aggressive. This is a good rank up deck because of how fast you get to play the games. That's definitely something that makes this a good rank up deck. And also just seems pretty strong. This will be a good test, how we do against deep. This will be a good test. Uh, need, one mana, need one mana cards. I'm actually going to send the Demolitionist back too. I just want to find one drops, and we have other two drops. We could get another Demolitionist. Uh, see, this this works out better. I like I like Omen Hawk into Crimson Disciple. Oh, into four four Draven, yes please, and then hopefully six four Bacillus Rider, yes please. Card's not bad. Time for the main event. Hmm. Thing's gonna be a speed bump with the life steal. Will be a speed bump. That. We ride for Noxus. Drew the Freljord, Freljord card right in time. Oh man. Alright, well that, that trades with mine, but they take five. So they're taking ten. I guess that's okay. We trade four drop for three drop, they take ten, but then they also uh, get to draw, or they take five, I guess, with that. They also get to draw a sea monster. Why did they pass at first? They had that card. I should have maybe just I should have maybe just gone back to my turn and just gone to attacks. Victory at any cost. How would I get punished for playing Darius? What would they do? They would play Nothing that doesn't make it worth it. Six mana, they could have Devour Adepts, but I have Transfusion. So yeah, there's there's no reason not to play this. Jeez. I guess they could have had a vile feast, especially how they attacked that three power thing earlier. See, just just gotta have Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk helps you out. You know, made that 
Uh, Draven a 4-4, made our 3-1 the 4-2. The I mean, the, the, those are both really important stats to have. Turn 1 Omenhawk. You can't get turn 1 Omenhawk if you don't play it. Do I want to keep this? Do I want to curve Precious Pet, Crimson Disciple, Ballista, and then have Transfusion? Um... Get rid of Ballista. We'll keep the others. Instead of Ballista, I'd rather have Ballista. <laughs> you can't ever get rid of Ballista. We got the Basilisk pet to go with our Basilisk rider. Didn't challenge, they didn't have another thing to play to be able to challenge. Go to attacks. And then, especially like with drawing the Demolitionist, it makes sense to play the Demolitionist post combat on that thing. It's a good one drop. Nine power and toughness for three mana. if you were. Pretty good stats. Definitely like Petty Officer a lot more since it got upgraded being a 3-2. It definitely looks a lot better now. Alright, let's mess some folks up. It's Draven time. Yeah, 4-4 Draven still looks pretty good. I guess the problem with playing Draven is now I don't have Transfusion for Crimson Disciple whenever they challenge it. Um. That's annoying. That's annoying. It's good play, good play. gonna hurt for you. They're not gonna have Radiant Strike, are they? If I block the 3-2, do they have Radiant Strike? Got an axe with your name on it. Man, I sure hope not. Wish I had one more ma Oh, I can, I, it's turn five next turn anyway. I don't get to play Darius anyway. All right, we'll just play this thing. I have Transfusion. Take the rest. Okay, this puts him down to seven. Make that five. Make that four. Like, anytime you have, like, safe damage to get with, like, the spinning wheels, you just take it. Like, those things are, are really just a bonus. So we have safe damage there. We're taking it. But again, Omenhawk, you know that... The plus one, plus one on the Draven, the Iron Ballista. Don't fear the dark. <laughs> that was 
really help those things stay alive. That's why you splash Roman Hawk, not Elise. Oh yeah, we're in diamond now. Sweet. Rank up day success. Brom and Nivia. Those of y'all that like to play Brom and Nivia, I really recommend watching the, the Brom and Nivia we just played, especially like games four and five. Uh, yeah, especially those two games, games four and five. Um, you know, I basically, you know, I kind of re retuned that deck and like it quite a bit. Man, I Draven. I feel like I should keep Draven, but we have the attack token turn one, and so having an attacker turn one, something I really want. Let me just get rid of Grenadier. Grenadier is usually really good, but we are playing against a Withering Whale deck. Yuck. I have nine one drops. <laughs> so they don't show up until turn two. They don't show up until turn two. I have the best job. So whether to play Ballista or Draven here is kind of interesting. Playing playing uh, playing Ballista means it's it's vulnerable to like the the damage that these things are doing, where Draven. Not vulnerable because of the quick attack. Um, but with that being said, Ballista would get a few, get a little bit of damage in with the Overwhelm, so you, you, we'd actually deal damage then with playing Ballista. Um, Then First we fight only your best. <clears throat> But then with that being said, it would get, you know, the ballista would get hurt. And then finally the Drave playing the Draven means we get to start piling up the spinning axes. By the way, I don't know if y'all know this, but Fury of the North, good card. Good card. So I'm going Ballista over Rider so that I can have Transfusion. Axes coming right up. Look up for Reavers. Okay, I could take a guaranteed one damage with these two spinning axes. Right here, I could try to level up Draven. I feel like that's not worth it, leveling up Draven. Now we're cooking. So we're gonna take the guaranteed one damage. And of course, I'd rather have that 4-3 trade with a Vengeance than my Basilisk Rider. If they don't break, Draven's really looked good in these games. And of course, so has Omen Hawk. How can Brom help? I don't know. Brom can do whatever he wants. Right on! My shield is my sword. Good luck. Have fun. Bad Brom. So you're basically trading Transfusion for a 3-3. The thing is, they're likely going to get this 3-3 anyway, but at least... At least they don't have it for this attack stamp. 
I don't know. I should be. I shouldn't. I shouldn't go straight to attacks. This. This isn't good. I should. I should honestly play all three of these pre-combat because they're likely going to have like spell removal, and things like that. I should honestly play all these pre-combat. And then attack. I really should. Yeah. I mean, I just let them. Yeah. Like this. That's that's like their best turn. I I should have played all these pre-combat that this may be the turn that I lose this game if I lose this game be this turn because basically if you think so you know if you think about it their best case scenario is is yeah having like a removal spell for the 6-4 and it's so like that's going to take up a lot of their mana and if that's going to already take up a lot of their mana I should be pressuring them with with playing a bunch of more threats. Yeah, that... Remember the objectives. So, Agra's not always super easy to play. It's not... You can, you can definitely... Um, definitely make mistakes. Like, honestly, if I play all those pre-combat, they may just be dead right there. My talents are frost, my wings the bitter winds. And Rome is your wingman. What? Can't they can't be doing that, right? What are they doing? That doesn't Do they not know that only does one damage? Like they just took four damage. What are they doing? Okay, we gotta just get one more point of damage across. This is gonna be the hardest point of damage to get across. I don't know how we're gonna get this point of damage across, but we need one more. Yeah, this is... Unfortunately, the worst card to draw in our deck uh, is Precious Pet. Like, even Omen Hawk would have been better. Come on in. Good yeah. times, good friend. What could be better? All right, looks like they got this. This this game was my fault. Like, I, I should have won this game if I would have played those things pre-combat. Um, yeah, I would I would have won this game. So, that game's on me. Let's but that's... Uh, that's the thing about aggro, you can't make a you can't make a mistake. Then your opponent stabilizes. That's definitely on me. Don't you hate that though? You know, like you I like put them forward and attack, and then immediately afterwards, you know, it, it was one second afterwards, I was like, no, I'm not supposed to attack right there. You know, like that was not you know, it was not like a five minutes later I realized. That was immediately afterwards. Realize no, I'm not supposed to be attacking there. It was a good game though. It was a good learning game, and that's what's that's what's important, especially for you know for for y'all watching. Like it's it's good to be learning, and so hopefully y'all learn that it's not always don't always just go straight to combat when you're playing an aggressive deck like this, and you think that they will be. You think that they are going to be playing spells to try to uh, counteract your attack, and you got a bunch more attackers in hand. Play them out. Play them out there. Let's go, Disciple. Oh, I can't wait. Layla, it's spice. My turn. I sure hope they don't have misfortune. Please just don't. Please don't have misfortune. Please don't have misfortune. No misfortune. Play something else. No prey. No that is a lot of. We're in a lot of trouble. 
Fleet Feather Tracker with these. Head to the face. Time for violence. Okay, I'll take that. The Ballista was the better blocker over the Draven against Misfortune. No one goes hungry. Okay, so now... Double spell with the Grenadiers... Or single spell with Draven... Ballista. Draven's the best attacker. Um. So I'll go that way. Time for the main I'll go that way. Play the best card. Nagaka would guide us. That definitely makes life better. Getting another spinning axe to discard, because I obviously don't really want to discard any of those kind of cards to spinning axe. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll Ugh. find our enemies wherever they hide. Man, they had a really good hand. Flea Feather Tracker on one, War Chefs on two, Misfortune on three, Island Navigator on four, Quinn on five. I think that's the perfects. I think that's the perfects. So we're going. Yeah, we're, we gotta go. We gotta go for this stuff. I'm really glad they attacked with their misfortune and got the misfortune off the battlefield. I mean, I guess they kind of needed the, the open slot. But yeah, misfortune would still be a huge problem with these. So they honestly probably shouldn't have. You should probably just always keep misfortune. Looks like this may be a three and two. But our deck felt really, really good. This is just a, you know, just a perfect one through five. Here and the previous game, I could have won if I would have played a turn six differently. Let me keep Draven. I'm happy with that. Okay, this is a 6-5. Gonna go ahead and play this Overwhelm and have Fury of the North. card. Wow, what a great card. That could trade with both of these. Wow. Well, can't attack with Grenadier anymore. I can't, I can't make that trade. This, even though they can put the 4-3 in front, I can uh, Fury here. Yeah, 
yeah, I really, I really, really recommend this Freljord Splash. Omen Hawk and Fury of the North have just been amazing for us. Those cards are really good. I, I definitely recommend uh, splashing Freljord over any other splash. We could still get this with Darius. Game's not over. Quinn's about to level up, though. Just like hunting pressure geese. What are they doing? They gotta have protection for this Quinn, right? Yeah, they got. They have to. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Like, why do they want to make this attack? Okay, because they have repose. That's fair. So they're gonna get they're gonna get another valor. My shield is yours. Guess I just play the Darius next turn. I guess we just play this and play Darius next turn. Time to get my hands dirty. Protect and strike. Nothing escapes. This will put him down to four. We'll have at, you know, at least 11, maybe 12 power Darius. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to have to take out. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to have that would keep them stay, that would keep them alive. Uh, I think we're good. Best draw in the deck is Fury of the North. I mean, I guess I guess there is one Decimate in the deck. I guess that's the best draw in the deck. Only one of Decimate. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Well, then. this is just a spinning axe. There we go. The the hand of Noxus. Our deck really felt powerful. It did. Like this, this deck felt really powerful. This deck seems like a great one to rank up with because if you get the faster games, like if that's something that you, if that's something you really want to do, is just rank up real fast. Um, you know, maybe you don't. You know, you have press for time. You know that kind of stuff. This deck felt awesome. Um, yeah, it felt really good. Definitely loved Omen Hawk Fury of the North. Those two cards are incredible. I see a lot of people play. It's decisive maneuver whenever I play against this deck. Decisive maneuver is not a good card. Don't don't put this in your deck. I see a lot of people playing that card. Uh, and I can't I can't recommend against that enough. Um yeah, this is yeah. I I guess that I don't really know other ways to say it. Just just play this deck. Uh you know, if you want to rank up fast. Don't, you know, I rec definitely recommend this over Elise and um, and even over some of these other Noxus cards that people play. Like, like what what are we doing? Like, just no, no, don't do it. <laughs> if you're the North busted, Omen Hawk busted, play those cards. Your deck will be busted. All right, that's Basilis Gagro. It was a four one. Should have been a five zero. Um, I I messed that that game up. You know, like the the loss. That that loss that we had was on me. I could have I could have definitely won that if I would have played all those things pre combat and attacked. We would have won that game. Good learning experience, and that's what it's all about: learning, getting better. Anyway, that's it here for Basilisk Agro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.